So this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to create your own custom brushes and import them into Mohu. Uh, these are the ones I use um, that I created. This is kind of a rough one, like a cool little uh, charcoal one and uh, kind of a really textured one. So the first thing you have to do is you need to create your own custom uh, custom folder for the brushes. So you need to go to Edit Preferences and Custom Content Folder. It's, it's called, you have to click here and you have to create uh, your folder wherever you want. I have mine on an on a external hard drive because I'm working on a computer, like personal computer and uh, my laptop. So when I switch to a different computers, I can open uh, the brushes. But um, yeah, when you create a folder, it's going to be here. Brushes are going to be stored here. And I'll show that later. Uh, you click OK. So to create your own brush, you can use Photoshop or Krita. I like using Krita because it's, it has pretty cool uh, brushes already. And it's a free uh, program. So if we open Krita, Okay, so uh, when you open Krita, if you have it, or Photoshop, whatever, uh, you go to new file, and yeah, I already have this pretty fine, but you can type in like 720, 720, so it's like a square, and resolution really, I think it doesn't matter, you can put 300 ppi, to create that. And now we just, uh, start creating our brush so uh, you know take something like this start like texturing it's like a it's like a black color for it just you know take your take your time when you're creating brushes the more details they have they're gonna look more uh, interesting All right so uh and I have this brush now, and let's say I'm satisfied with it. Uh, I just have to save it as and find where my uh, custom folder is. So I'm just going to skip this real quick. So when you find your, your folder, you just go to brushes and you need to save it as a PNG image here. And you can see I'll ha I have those three custom brushes here, so I'm just going to just gonna call this one custom for save that and I'm just gonna ask you this but it's fine I'll make sure it's like high quality okay and that's it now we go back to Moho and uh, you have to reset either reset Moho you can just close it and reopen or you can use a shortcut which is uh, Control Alt Shift L, and it's gonna like refresh the Moho. And now, when you go uh, here to the brushes, custom, there it is custom for, is right here. So I can click OK. I can go to the brush tool. And I can test how it looks. You know. Also, Moho is pretty cool. It has like other options here, so you can change it. You can change the spacing and size variation scale, and uh, you can add line boil too. For example, two, three. It's going to be like uh, every third frame. I'm going to do something like this and I scrub the timeline, it's going to boil. Oh yeah, make sure, another thing, make sure that this tint brush using show color is on. Because um, of the default brushes, they have this on, uh, on by default. But the first time I was trying uh, or testing out my brushes, I couldn't change the, the color, see? So for this one, it's not 
the tint brush using uh, the tint brush using show color is not uh, checked. So if I try to change the color of the brush, oh, I have to go to frame zero. Uh, you know, it's always going to be a, a black brush. So, uh, I mean, it's always going to be a, a black color. So if you uh, check the tint brush, brush using show color, Click OK. Now it's going to actually be a different color. So another cool thing I wanted to show is uh, in Moho you have uh, multi brushes. So these are pretty much brushes that use like uh, different, multiple different like textures from different brushes. And you can see there are um, examples of multi brushes here which are default and uh, you can see that they're multi brushes because they have these three dots in the upper left upper left corners. So to create your own multi brush, you just uh, again go to Creator Photoshop and you create like um, multiple different textures for brushes, save them, but you need to save them in a, in a separate folder. And again, you need to re refresh Moho, and when you do it, uh, it should be like, yeah, there it is. This is my multi brush custom. So now I can use it and create animations and everything. So yeah, this is this is a tutorial. Hopefully, it will help some of you guys. Thanks for watching.